Hi, I'm Holly Perkins and welcome to Exercise TV and my 20 minute sweat workout. Today I've got a great challenging workout for you that's designed to get you in, work you hard, give you a great sweat and get you out all in 20 minutes. Now today's workout's a little bit different because instead of doing a repetition based series, we're actually gonna perform each movement for either 30 to 60 seconds before we move on to the next exercise. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. All you need today is an exercise mat, a set of light dumbbells, a set of heavy dumbbells, and that's it. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Our first exercise is jumping rope. As you can see, I don't have a jump rope. If you have one at home and you wanna use a jump rope, go ahead and use one, but we're just gonna go ahead and mimic here. If you have a different familiarity with foot position, just go ahead and jump in place. Either do single feet, double feet, whatever works for you. This exercise is gonna help us get warmed up, get you ready, it's gonna increase your heart rate and get those muscles ready as we continue into the workout. So we're just gonna hold it here. Use those arms as if you really had a jump rope that you're using. Jumping rope is great because like I said, it increases the heart rate, but you also get a really great arm pump through this movement. So contract those biceps, use those arms and keep moving. So you're gonna be warming up here in just a couple of minutes. Make sure that you're getting in tune with your breath. Take a couple deep breaths and just keep moving with me. So we got about 10 seconds left here. Keep that pace up. We're getting ready to move on to our next exercise. Use those arms, keep your energy up. Take a big deep breath and relax. Go ahead and grab one of your heavier dumbbells. Open up those feet pretty wide, toes outward. Dumbbell in your left hand, it looks like this. You're gonna sit down, bringing that dumbbell towards the knee, pulling through the back and the back of the shoulder, you're gonna row back. It's a single arm row, let's go. You got 30 seconds here. So a couple things I want you to really focus on, pulling through that back and that shoulder. This is an amazing exercise for strengthening the back, your posture, your shoulders, and even your arms. As you can see, we're getting a little bit of a leg workout here. So keep that leg involved. In 10 seconds, we're gonna make this move a little bit bigger. We're gonna go a little bit deeper, and we're gonna increase the intensity. Make sure you're pulling through that back. A couple seconds, here we go. We're gonna go a little deeper, taking that dumbbell down, and notice I'm pivoting on that left foot. Pivot so that you can really drop that dumbbell down. Keep breathing, keep those abs tight. Pull through that back. Keep your legs involved. And we got about 10 seconds here. Nice deep breaths. You're gonna feel your body getting warm here. Couple seconds. And last one. Keep that dumbbell. I want you to hold it end to end. And you're gonna hold it at your chest. Lift up through the abs. And we're just gonna take a step back. Step forward and switch feet. So it's a reverse alternating lunge. We're gonna add an overhead press with that. So we're just extending up and up. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Step back. So we are gonna be here for 60 seconds. This is one of my absolute favorite exercises. This tones the thighs, it hits those glutes, hits that rear really well. And it's gonna keep that heart rate up. Keep those abs nice and tall. Keep breathing. Couple seconds here. And last one, we're gonna hold that dumbbell over the head. Last 30 seconds. Stay nice and tall. Use those glutes, keep breathing. Get your heart rate up. You should be fully warm at this point. And last 10 seconds. Keep breathing. Keep that breath up, extend through those arms, and relax. Hold that dumbbell. Extending those legs out, we're gonna go into a row, pulling back on the other side, just like we did a minute ago. Let's go. We're lunging down, pull back. Really activate through that back. Get that arm involved. And keep breathing. All right, we're a few minutes in. So you're definitely feeling warm at this point. 
stick with me. If you find you need an easier pace, slow down, take a little break, but we're gonna turn it up here in a minute. We're gonna take this into a deeper lunge right here. Take it down, pivot on that back foot. Make sure, focus on that arm, okay? We've got our heavier dumbbell here because I really want you to strengthen through the back, the shoulders and the arms. This keeps a healthy posture, healthy spine. Couple seconds here. Keep breathing and that's it, last one. Go ahead and put that dumbbell down. We are moving on. We're gonna come back to a jump rope. So this time, we got a different style of jump rope. It's just like I'm jogging in place. Rather than having those knees high, I want you to really pull those heels up. Pull those heels up. Like you're trying to kick yourself in the bones. Keep that intensity up. And like I said before, I want you to really imagine you've got a real jump rope in your hands. That's gonna cause you to pump those hands. Use your biceps. Keep breathing. You're gonna be sweating here in a minute. So breathe through it, keep that energy up. Use those arms. Always, always keep those abs tight. This workout is really designed to increase your intensity, challenge your overall system, so that you get a complete workout. Just 20 minutes. It's genius, I think. A couple seconds, keep breathing. Almost there. And relax it out. Next exercise, grab those light dumbbells. Feet are gonna start separated. That shoulder distance. Abs drawn in, dumbbells to the side. Movement looks like this. We're gonna extend up. Then we're gonna switch. We're here for one minute. Let's go ahead and go. Up, up, beautiful. Okay, really important here, draw in on those abs, okay? Notice that I have a little bit of a lateral torso twist going on, okay? Side to side, I want that. That's in here on purpose. It's gonna help you to use your core muscles, your abs, and your shoulders, okay? Extend, keep it big. We wanna involve those core muscles as much as possible. Possible, and keep it up. And if you ever find you need to take a break, take a moment, grab a sip of water, and join me back when you're ready. Keep it up, use those abs. Yes, it's an arm exercise. It's amazing how much you can involve your core. Five seconds. Real big, almost done here. Last one and relax. Dumbbells go down. Moving on. Our next exercise, another one of my favorites. You're gonna start with your feet separated, front to back. Be sure you take a look down. You also need to have a little bit of space left to right to keep your balance. Arms are down. Looks like this. You're gonna drop down into a slight squat. Use those arms, jump up and switch, and repeat, just like that. It's a plyometric movement. Go ahead and set those feet. We're here for 30 seconds, you ready? Go ahead and go, bring it up, okay? Now, this is a little challenging for you. I want you to just bring it to a stepping movement, and then when you're ready, you can just join me back. Plyometric movements are great for increasing that heart rate. They improve the conditioning of those legs so much. Thighs are gonna look great. About five seconds, hang in there, keep breathing. Keep it strong, keep breathing. One more second, and we're done, and relax. We're gonna bring it down to the floor. Go ahead and have a seat to the floor. And then I want you to grab those heavier dumbbells, bring them to your shoulders. Use your abs here, very important. Lower yourself back. Dumbbells are coming out to the side. Take a look left or right. You wanna make sure those elbows are directly out from the shoulders. From here, we're gonna press up, dumbbells together. Back down, and we're here for one minute. Let's go. Press it. Press it. So, if you're not keen to this already, dumbbell chest press. It's really great for strengthening the chest, toning the arms, 
and the triceps. We're hitting the back of those shoulders. Keep it strong, really important. Exhale, exhale, okay? Push through that chest from the bottom to the top. Push. Keep those shoulders long. Shoulders are away from the ears, reaching down towards the waist. Use that chest, we're almost there. Keep breathing, you feeling it? You should be. You should have a good sweat going at this point. If you need to stop and take a little break, you can always do so. 10 seconds, breathe it out. Use those chests, keep it going. Big push, last couple, one more, and relax it down. Bring the dumbbells back to your shoulders. Use your legs to roll yourself up. And we're just gonna put those dumbbells down. Great, and we're moving on. So I want you to just go ahead and lie back. And we're gonna bring those fists to the chin. You're gonna draw in through those abs to lift the shoulders up. You're gonna bring the knees in and the movement is extending out those legs, reaching your shoulder over towards that knee. We're gonna alternate and that's it. Let's go ahead and start. Come on up and reach it out and out. So we're here for a minute, okay? Really important. Most important for this exercise is that it's your shoulders reaching towards those knees. Okay, that's why your hands are here so that you won't use your arms. Breathe. Shoulders to the knees. Why? Because I want you to really use that twisting motion through the torso. We're keeping those abs contracted under tension for a whole minute which is hugely effective for changing that midsection. Keep it strong, breathe into it. It's gonna get a little challenging. Stick with me if you can. Take a break if you have to, but keep it strong. Contract those abs, breathe into it 10 seconds, breathe. Keep it up, nice and strong. Exhale and reach, couple more, one more and relax, great. Bring those knees into the chest. And I just want you to roll up. Take a moment, we're gonna come back up onto the feet. As soon as you come up, I want you to get those feet moving. Just keep them moving. And we're gonna go right back to jump rope. We're in a two foot jump. Feet are together. Use those arms, okay? Just trying to keep those ankles right towards each other. Again, you can jump in any style that you want. I just want you having little jumps here, using those arms. In your mind, you got a jump rope in your hands. Use those arms, power them. Jump rope is amazing for toning the arms. It's great because you can do it anywhere. It's gonna bump that heart rate up and keep you sweating. That's what we're doing here. 20 minute sweat. I want you moving, body warm, use those arms. Feet together, abs drawn in, keep breathing. Take a break if you need it. Strengthening up those legs. It's a great exercise to tone the calves. Taper the ankles. Five seconds. Keep breathing. Almost there. And relax it out, great. Go ahead and grab one of your heavier dumbbells. You're gonna hold it end to end. Take those toes pointed out. Knees heading in the same direction. The movement's dropping down, dumbbells and hips. Second phase, straight up. We're here for a minute. Drop it down, reach it up. Keep those abs nice and tight. Down and up. Breathe into it. Okay, it's a squat. Yes, but I don't want you reaching your hips back. Down. So keep that tailbone pointing straight down. Knees extending out. Where are you feeling it? In your thighs, right? Let those knees open. One of the best thigh glute toning exercises. Arms are big. Keep breathing. Nice and strong. Abs are tight. Open up those thighs. Long thighs. Engage the glutes, we're almost there. 10 seconds. Keep it big, and up. Great. Keep breathing. Need a break? Short one's coming up. And relax. Great. 
dumbbell goes down and we are right back one more we're back to jump rope we're gonna run it out keep it nice and big one minute pedal those hips nice and high keep those feet moving use your arms breathe it out nice and big again imagine you got a real jump rope in your hands keep that intensity up really using those arms breathe it out take a break if you need it join me when you're ready now another option is to use a real jump rope if you're familiar just grab it and jump any style that you're familiar with just to keep those feet moving and to improve that hand foot coordination. We're almost there. Keep those feet moving, 10 seconds. Breathe it out, use those arms, keep it up. You can do it. We got two more exercises, so close. Good sweat and relax it out. And we are moving on. One of my very favorite exercises, side kick, it looks just like this. You're gonna sit down, contract through the side of the torso, kick that heel out, and relax down we're here for 30 seconds drop it down and let's kick it out and down out great okay this is amazing for toning that hip can you feel it you're gonna keep those abs drawn in last two exercises 30 seconds here breathe and kick not a rocket kick driving through those heels 10 seconds breathe Use those abs, contract through the side. Couple more, kick it, one more, and relax it out. Shake out those legs. We're gonna move on to that other side. Take a deep inhale, and we're back. Same exact movement, kicking out to the other side. 30 seconds, let's go. Kick it, and down. Squeeze through those glutes. Change those hips. That's why we're here. We're here to get some exercise and have fun while we're doing it. This is a great movement. For some reason, I always feel so empowered when I get it. Increase the stability on that down leg. 10 seconds. Push it out. Last exercise. Hang with me here. Hang on. Use that hip. Two more. There's one. One more. And relax it out. And that's it. We're going to move into a little bit of a cool down here. Great job great great workout take a deep breath just let those arms swing allow a little bit of that spine to rotate release through the hips deep inhale full exhale one more and relax then we're gonna move down onto the floor come on down to those knees and I just want you to bring one knee forward place those hands on that front knee tuck through that back hip we're gonna move in and out, in and out. Small movements here. Relax through those hips, okay? I want you to get a really gentle stretch through the front of that hip. A couple seconds, and let's go ahead and switch sides. Same thing, other side. Knee forward, in and out. Gentle. Okay, you want a nice stretch here. Nothing too intense, breathe. Breathe, nice and easy, staying tall. You can feel your heart rate and respiration coming down. And one more, and relax it out. And I just want you to come down into a cross-legged position. Take a deep inhale and exhale. One more, inhale and exhale. I encourage you to sit just for one more minute. Take a couple breaths. I'm Holly Perkins. This is my 20-minute sweat workout on Exercise TV. I'll see you next time.